Hello all of you. In today's session we are going to discuss how to create a super user in Django. So creating a super user in Django is our aim. So first I'll open my code in VLC Visual Studio Code Editor. This Visual Studio Code Editor. You can download customized Django version from here or already you installed Django, that's fine. You can use that one only. This is the customized version of Django. I have done a NERP software using Django. You can visit my last video so that you can understand how the functionality is working and how we implemented this ERP software using Django. So before going that, you have to download this and you have to install in your system. So I thought you already installed Django in your system. So you have to create super user in Django. So otherwise you can download from here. I'll add this link in the description section. This is ERP software we developed using Django. So we will start with the Visual Studio Code Editor. This is the code I downloaded from that link with the ERP software. This is the manage.py server and you have to go to the terminal. You can see the terminal down. It control is. So this is the terminal. You are, you know that to run a Django, you need to type python manage.py run server. This is the command to run the Django server. So I am running the server. So this is the URL for that. Copy that URL and paste here. This is the Django homepage. So if you want to log in admin side, is the link to log in admin side, but you don't know username and password of this Django software. So how to create this username and password? That's our aim. So for that we have a command python manage.py create super user. So we have to type there here we are going to type python manage.py run server sorry not run server create super user it will automatically ask for user now i'll give root v4 it lasts for email id root v4 i gmail.com it lasts for the password you have to give here you have to give your password i give root v4 hash last for typing again root v4 hash so this is saying password is not secure similar to email address that I wrote. you can use your own secure password here I'm using for dummy purpose so no need if you're working with real project you have to use secure password see super user created successfully next is you will run the server again Django server you know that python manage.py run server the server is running then refresh this here it will give root v4 password what we are given is root v4 hash see this is the 
default Django admins. Here you can give users. Here is the router we created root before. You can use change your super user name, password, and permission also. You can change super user password and permission you can change here to show last login, date of joining, and delete all delete option also is there. So this is the simple way to create a super user. This is you, you log in with super user only, so you have all the privileges. This is the visit site and change password option also is there. You can change your password. This is Django administration home. You can add new group and other things you can start. So hope you understood. This is a simple things. I already uh, created a project. If you are a beginner, I'm asking you to view that. I'm suggesting you to view that video so that you can create your own software or ERP, something like that. After that, you will be an expert in that. Thank you for listening. Hope you understood. If you have any question, you can comment in below section. I'll add that video and download source code link in the description so that you can follow. Thank you.